Today we're going to talk about installing a fuse panel. So welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about installing a fuse panel. Uh, but first I wanted to take a look at an original fuse, fuse panel, like up top here, a replacement aftermarket one and then another version of a replacement aftermarket one. So up here we've got a uh, original one. Then we've got this one, which comes from most of the parts houses. You can get it just about anywhere. And then there's this one. This is called a refuse panel. It's made by a gentleman out in the Bay Area. The name of his company is CDD Auto Gear. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's bigger, it's heavier. It's got uh, really nice ways to tighten the, the the wires down, nice screws and everything. And it also gives you the ability to use the modern style blade fuse. So if you want to use that, uh, I, I really do like this, but it's not original at all. So the closest that you're gonna to get to original would be this guy right here. So we'll take a look at it and compare it to the original one. So the first thing I wanna talk about on the original is how they're made. So on the back, you're gonna see that there's these jumpers. So if you look at this, uh, fuse number one is up here at the front. It's right here. Whoop, where are you going? Back up there. You're running away. So fuse one's here, and if you flip it over, you're gonna see that uh, two, three, and four are jumped. So there's a brass jumper back here, and then nine and 10, and 11 and 12 are also jumped. That's for power distribution. So we'll talk about that when we're wiring it up. Now, the aftermarket's not made that way, so the back is just clean but they use a, um, a jumper uh, that goes in here, a little brass piece that jumps those. I hope you can see, yeah, you should be able to see it. And then they do it on 10 and 11, or I'm sorry, nine and 10 and 11 and 12. So, but uh, we'll talk about that as, as we're wiring it up. The first thing I wanna talk about though, before actually wiring up the panel is the wiring diagram. So I hope this is clear on this video. Um, but right here, what we're looking at is a copy of the original L57 diagram. The, the other diagram, this is the L57 is intended for the 911 and the L53 was intended for the 912. Almost identical diagrams. There are minor differences or significant differences to the car, but they're minor, especially when it comes to the fuse panel. But I wanted to talk about that for a reason, because if you're trying to wire up your fuse panel and you're using this diagram, it can be confusing. If you notice, they put the battery up here in the diagram up top. Well, the battery in this car is down front. It's up by the front bumper. And then what they do is they have the two black wires coming off the battery. So the, one, the big black wire goes back to the starter. And then the other little one is the power to the fuse panel. So if you look at this, if you can see this, this wire, if you trace it, it comes over and it goes into number three. Well, if you look at this thing, it would look like it's saying to bring it in here on number three. It's backwards or 180 out, I guess would be the proper term. That black wire should be coming in on this side. So if you try to put it in over here and you've bought a harness or you're trying to put your harness back in the car, whatever you're doing, and you try to run that black wire over there, it's gonna be too short. Everything's gonna be too short that should be going to this side because the wires just weren't that long. Um, so you just got to pay attention to that, that that is actually backwards. Now there's another gentleman out there that makes these aftermarket diagrams. I'll put his link in the description, but his is right. He's still got the battery up, up top, but that's just minor. Uh, but you can see that it comes into number three and then it's jumped. So that's where that jumper that we talked about earlier becomes important. So power comes at number three directly from the battery and then it's distributed over to two into three. So two, three, and four are always hot unless you've unconnected the battery. So even when you've got the car off, there's always power on the, those three fuses. I'm going to do each individual fuse separately. So we're going to start with number one. We're going to start with the fused, I'm sorry, the unfused size of, of the fuse panel, and then we'll do the fused side. Um, so the first one, also one other thing, I'm going to use cut wires, so I don't have to be flopping around a full harness, so it makes it easier on me. But you get, you'll get the exact same colors and everything on your harness. Um, so number one, unfused side, gets uh, a relatively large wire that comes through one of the body connectors, through body connectors, and it goes to switch uh, pole number 15 on the ignition switch. Yeah, 15 on the ignition switch, and then you get a red that goes back to the 
uh, ignition coil, and then you get the blue with yellow that is uh, powered to the gauges. So those three are going to go into number one. On the fused side of number one, you've got a gray with brown, a black, and then a black with yellow. The gray with brown goes to your um, backup lights on the transmission. The black with yellow provides power to the brake light switch. And then the black is power down to the, um, the, the control relay for the lights, um, which is up underneath the foot pedal. So those three get hooked in. On unfused number two, you get a large diameter red wire that comes from the uh, light switch uh, terminal number 30. So it goes through one of the three body connectors. So it comes through up here through one of the three body connectors. On fused side number two, you get a blue, or I'm sorry, a black and a red with black wire. And the red with black is for the cigarette lighter. And then the black goes over to the clock and then also feeds the interior lights. Uh, so when you open the door, the lights turn on. On unfused number three is the main power to the panel, the black wire, the large black wire that comes from the battery. Not the really large one, that goes to the starter, the smaller of the two blacks. So it provides power to the fuse panel. Then on the diagram for number three, if you had the Wobasso heater, uh, you can run uh, a red wire into that. It, on, the, on the original diagram, it, it calls it Heizung, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not very good at German. But on most cars that don't have the heater, that is just left empty. So uh, sometimes you'll see it just as labored as AUX for auxiliary, but there can be a red wire if you've got the Wobasso uh, heating system. Then unfused number four. So unfused number four has one of the mysteries of Porsche. So there's two wires that go into it. Number one is the red that goes up to the horn relay. So we'll go ahead and set that in there. But then you get the green with a white. So the green with white is for the uh, emergency flasher system. So if it's an early European car uh, or just a European car that did not have the flasher, emergency flasher system, you might find this green wire with white kind of back up in the harness over around in here. Uh, but Porsche decided to hook this green wire in on the unfused side, and then they decided to put a fuse in it. So you'll see that. So it goes in number four, and that's where all your power goes to that flasher circuit. So it goes in with the red right there. Uh, I have seen people put it over here on four so that it's got, you know, that it's fused on the fused side of four, but uh, the original way was on the unfused side with its little secondary um, fuse holder. So, and then on fused side number four, you have two red wires. Um, one of them goes to the windshield wiper combo switch, so it goes back up through the um, uh, one of the three body connectors. And then um, the other one goes over to the wiper motor itself. On fuse number five, uh, on the unfused side, the diagram shows a white with a yellow going in there uh, for, uh, it's from the fog light switch. Now, I wanna talk about this, and I'm gonna go over this again in a later video when I do a install for the wiring harness, for, the sub wiring harness for a fog light switch. But on the very early cars, the fog light um, circuit, the wires are installed in the harness. Whereas in the later cars, uh, sometime in 66, they switched over to this. Uh, they made a separate uh, harness for the fog lights. There was a fog light relay and it sat up there. Uh, this car actually had it because it's a 67, but if you had a really early car, like a 65, uh, 64, late, you know, the early, early cars, um, they had all that in there. So the original wiring harness relates back to that. So you'll see the white with yellow, the two of them, they'll go on five and six. Uh, and then on this side, you'll see here in a second, it gets the actual lights, the, the wires that go up to the fog lights. But 
a lot of a uh, lot of little details on that so i won't go into it too much but the early cars didn't have a fog light relay so they just had the two uh, white with yellows that went into them uh, it's a pretty simple circuit uh, they added a relay later because in the United States, when you turn your high beams on, they wanted the fog lights to go off. So that's why the relay was there. But like I said, we'll go over that in a later video. So for right now on the fused, unfused, sorry, unfused, who knows how many times I've screwed that up, right? On the unfused um, side, you get the white with yellow. And just in case I have messed it up so I don't have to re-record this, this is the unfused side and then this is the fused side. So on the fuse side of number five, you get the two white with greens that go up to the actual fog lights. This is the same on any of the cars from 64 through 68 and maybe even later. I don't know though, I don't work on those. All right, so there you go. Fuse six. On the unfused side, you get the other wire that this one, the, the white with the yellow wire, and it goes to the fog light switch power. And then you get the gray, which that comes from one of the combo switches. So it goes up in here to uh, a, a through body uh, connector. So we'll put those in there. So they go on the fused side of six. And then on the opposite side, you get the gray coming out that is for the license plate lights. Okay, and then I want to talk about this next wire. So you're going to notice this is a white with a black. Uh, on the harness, it shows a black with a white. And this goes to the trunk lights. Um, I'm yet to see a black with a white. I'm trying to think on a really, really early harness. I think that was even black on the really early cars. I've been fortunate enough to work on some very, very early 911s. Um, but I'm yet to see a black with a white. If I remember correctly, like I said, I, it's not important, but this is not black with white, it's white with black. So, it, and like I said, it goes to your trunk lights and then the gray goes to your license plate lights. Goes all the way back to the back. Number seven, unfused side of number seven. There's two gray with reds that come out of those. Both of those go through a body connector. Uh, through body connector into the passenger compartment and they go both of them go to number seven so they would be coming through the connector up here and then come over to seven the opposite side uh, gets also a gray with red and this is for your tail lights and your parking lights on the right hand side of the car so that would be up at the front and then in the back so that's what they look like so two Gray with reds coming in, two gray with reds coming out. Fuse number eight, unfused side, very much like number seven. Uh, this one's gray with black. These two go through a uh, through body connector into the inside of the car to the combo switches and the light switch. And they have a gray with black, two of them coming out and this is for the left side of the car. So this would be the lights up at the front and the lights at the back, your parking lights and your rear tail lights. So they go in like so. So two gray with blacks coming in, they both go through body connector and then gray with black coming out, one to the front, one to the back uh, for your parking lights and for the left side. So this is the, the gray with red is the right, gray with black is the left. Fuse number nine, unfused side gets a yellow and that is coming from the combo switch up inside. So once again, it goes all the way through a body th connector, through body connector to here. And then on the fused side of number nine, it goes to the uh, yellow and it goes to the low beams on the left side of the car. So the driver's side. Number 10, the fused side, it also gets a yellow that yellow is coming from the uh, light signal relay and it uh, goes in there like so on number 10. And then across from it is also a yellow and it is the low beam for the right side of the car or the passenger side. So there you go. Yellow in, yellow out. Fuse 11. So on the unfused side, if you look at the diagrams, um, 
it doesn't show anything going in there, but we'll talk about that later when we do the fog light harness. Um, I'm not going to go into it now, but uh, just watch for that video coming if you've got a fog light harness. Um, and it's not a really early car like I talked about earlier on the fuses down below. But so we're going to leave that empty in this example. But then on the fuse side, you're going to put it in, you're going to have a white and then a white with a blue. Okay, let me get them in there and I'll talk about them. All right, so the white on this number 11 goes to the high beam for the left-hand side of the car. And then the white with blue is the high beam indicator light that's on the dash. So it's going to illuminate when you um, turn on your high beams. And then last but not least is fuse number 12. So on the unfused side, you're gonna have a white coming in and it's gonna be coming from uh, the light signal relay. And then on the fused side of it, you're going to have another white and it is going to be for your high beams on the right or the passenger side of the car. All right. So there you go. There's the harness all, or the fuse panel all wired up to the harness. And um, if you got any questions, just reach out to me. Uh, you can always leave a comment in the video or you can email me directly at uh, 911 highvolt at gmail.com. Uh, I'm always here to help. These cars are just a passion for me. So a uh, hobby and um, just, just willing to help any way I can. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Just uh, double check your wiring harness or wiring diagram. Make sure that you understand that this is on the diagram flipped over by 180. So this side on here is actually this side. That's the biggest thing that you can take away from this video. This side is this side. So I hope it helps.